Hello everyone and welcome to the Mash and Drum Whiskey Room. My name is Jason C. And if you're a subscriber, thanks so much for the support and coming back and watching. If you're new to the channel, looking for the latest in whiskey and bourbon news and reviews, if you have found the right place, so hit that subscribe button below and hit that bell notification so you know when I'm releasing a new video or you can join in on one of my live streams. The Knob Creek line of whiskeys from Jim Beam is home to a number of limited releases including the Cast Strength Rye, Twice Barrel Rye, and a lot more. Their high proof small batch Knob Creek line has just launched Quarter Oak Kentucky Straight Bourbon, a new double barrel limited edition bottling available now nationwide and is today's review on the Mash and Drum. This special limited time release by Jim Beam uses a secondary finishing approach to continue the vision founding distiller Booker No set for Knob Creek decades ago to craft a bourbon with the fullest flavors characteristic of pre-prohibition style. This new release finishes flagship Knob Creek bourbon in quarter cask oak barrels for four years. Now quarter cask are, as the name suggests, one quarter of the size of a traditional 52 gallon barrel. This means an increase in the surface area of the charred oak relative to the volume of the whiskey inside, accelerating that aging process and giving it a sweeter and more oak forward flavor. Now, when the finished product is dumped from the quarter cask, it is then blended with the traditional Knob Creek 100 proof and then bottled at 100 proof again to create Knob Creek Quarter Oak. When dad created Knob Creek in the early 90s, he wanted to bring back the big bold flavors that bourbon offered before the days of prohibition, said Fred No, Booker's son, and Beam's family, seventh generation master distiller in a press release. Dad loved to experiment in his quest for flavor and I like to think we carry on that same spirit today with releases like this. Finishing our full flavored liquid in quarter cask delivers a really nice deep and wood flavor to the bourbon our fans enjoy. Knob Creek quarter cask is bottled at 100 proof and available now nationwide for just a retail price of around 50 bucks. So as usual, I've been taking a couple of pours of this just to kind of test it out and see what flavors we get uh, as the bottle opens up a little bit. Uh, before we get into the review, let's start with the color here. So as you can see, we have a little bit of a uh, kind of a darker honey color there. Really nice on the, uh, on the color. It's got 100 proof, so it doesn't stick completely to the glass, but it's got some pretty decent legs for 100 proof. Pretty light, nice bourbon color, little traditional of a bourbon color there. So let's get into the nose and see what we get. Here we go. Yeah, first thing that you're immediately hit with is all the oak and all the vanilla. That quarter cast definitely comes in and makes a, uh, makes a statement right off the bat on the nose. When I first opened this up, this was very oaky. That quarter cast, like I mentioned, you, you could really tell the influence on there, but as I've gotten this past the shoulder on the bottle, as you can see, the quarter oak has gotten really sweet, and now certain fruit flavors are starting to, to appear here on the nose. There's a lot of honey and vanilla on the nose. A lot of vanilla. I mean, it's like vanilla extract almost. Definitely some brown sugars. There's a good amount of spice here on the nose too. You almost get like a cinnamon spice characteristic. I think, you know, being that smaller barrel, sometimes you pull some of those uh, those tannins from the wood and you get a little bit more of a, of a spicier flavor profile, which I think is what's happening here as well. Yeah, so as I mentioned, you get a fruit note. I think it's kind of a dried fruit. Uh, it's, it's like a um, one of those, like a pitted date. If you ever had a date, like covered, like drizzled in a little bit of honey. They're really sweet, but they have a very distinct uh, flavor. They're kind of a little bit darker, very sugary sweet. That's what I'm getting here on the nose a little bit. Definitely between that vanilla, the oak. The oak is still prevalent kind of the whole way through. And yeah, some dark fruits. It's got a really nice nose. Not too much alcohol. The alcohol was very prevalent up front the first time I opened it. But now it's really opened up nicely and just gotten really nice and sweet. So let's go for a sip and see what we get. Cheers, everybody. So the first thing that I think you notice on the palate on this one is not only the sweetness, but the spiciness. If you, if you ever chewed like big red cinnamon gum and you like that, then you're really gonna love this bourbon. Um, the, the cinnamon spice just tingles from the front all the way to the back. There's some uh, underlying vanilla flavors in there and of course, you definitely get a good uh, oak presence as well. Let's go for another sip here. All right, second sip. You get way more of the vanilla on the front of the palate. Now that now the, the, the fruit characteristics starting to make itself uh, to be known a little bit more. I'm still getting that that date or maybe a little bit of a, of a berry note on there as well. But once it hits like mid palate, once it's kind of three quarters of the way back, oh man, all the oak, the tannins, the spice, that cinnamon spice just really take over. This has 
it has a really unique finish because it's not overpowering on the alcohol. Remember, it's it's only 100 proof. Uh, I mean, I know that's a lot for some of you maybe, but for this, it just drinks a lot easier than that. But the tingle and the spiciness you get is not alcohol spice. This is spice from the wood. It's cinnamon spice. It's flavor. It's really nice. Let's go for another sip here. Mm, okay. So as you keep sipping this, the, the, the spice aspect of it, you start getting a little bit more used to it. And now it's just kind of vanilla, brown sugars, and oak just taking over. Uh, now the finish on this one is actually a really nice finish. It's not overpowering. It's, um, as you would guess, it's very oaky. It hangs around a little bit. You definitely get that spice from the oak. But the, it also finishes with a little bit of a, of a leather kind of brown butter thing going on. I'm trying to kind of figure out how this is uh, how this is getting me on the finish here. Let's go for one last sip here. Here we go. Yeah, and I gotta say the finish is staying very consistent, which I love. So as far as the finish goes, it's really what you would expect. You're getting a good amount of like a charred oak flavor, still a lot of that cinnamon, that vanilla, a really nice finish. It does dry you out a little bit. It's a little bit drying on the back end. I think with all that uh, that oak presence. Some of those tannins in there, it's really going to kind of, does dry out the palate just a little bit. But I think the flavors that you get on the front and the mid palate get slightly fruity. And then the finish really kind of make up for it. Yeah, I'm really liking this so far. Let's compare it to regular Knob Creek 100 proof and uh, see if we could pick out some flavors so I could maybe help you more on trying to distinguish uh, what I'm tasting here. All right, guys, so here's the brand new Quarter Oak and here's the Knob Creek 100 proof standard release. Uh, let's try to compare them and see what flavors we're getting uh, to kind of notice the differences here. So, yeah, the quarter oak is way more interesting on the nose. The quarter oak, like I said, it has that really beautiful spice to it. Whereas the Knob Creek on the nose, the regular the standard edition, it's just you just get a really nice vanilla, those caramels. You get kind of that Jim Beam, that quintessential, a little bit more of that peanut flavor on the nose. And it's, it's interesting, on the Quarter Oak, I'm not getting as much peanut as I usually do on a, on a Jim Beam product. This one is coming through with just a lot of heavy cinnamon, the oak, and that cinnamon is really just kind of overpowering the nose. Yeah, the, the, um, the vanilla sweetness on the Quarter Oak is just amplified to go along with that cinnamon when compared to the standard Knob Creek release here. Yeah, the standard Knob Creek is just kind of your quintessential beam, like I said. Those vanillas, those caramels, uh, a little bit of that, that peanut. And definitely, you get some of that sweet oak uh, flavor on there, but it's not as, as prominent as it is in the quarter oak. Let's go for a sip of the standard Knob Creek here. Yeah, Knob Creek 100 Proof is just a damn good bourbon. It's just, it's flavorful. It's a great buy at about 35 bucks. It comes in with all the vanillas, caramels, peanut, the honey, a little bit of that oak characteristic on the very end. But when you compare it to the quarter oak, yeah, I love the spiciness of this quarter oak. But that's just me. If you're if you're into a smoother drinking experience, a little bit sweeter, then probably stick with the uh, Knob Creek uh, 100 proof standard release. But if you want something a little bit oakier, a little bit spicier, something that has a little bit more amped up uh, vanillas and caramels um, on the palate, then I think you're really gonna love the, uh, the brand new Quarter Oak. So I think that Knob Creek Quarter Oak delivers a deeper, darker, a little bit of a richer flavor profile, definitely a spicier flavor profile than what you may be used to with the regular Knob Creek offering. Now the addition of more sweet oak, strong vanillas, a bunch of cinnamon, and that kind of that sweet dried fruit, that date flavor I was getting is really, really good. The finish isn't super long, but there's enough there to keep you interested and in wanting to sip more of this. At $50 for what this delivers, I think this is a great value. Even at 100 proof, it's more flavorful than the regular Knob Creek offering and provides a different experience that you could definitely taste. Now, if you're thinking I could get Knob Creek single barrel, which is 120 proof for about 50 bucks as well, I get that. But what I will say is that bourbon drinkers who don't want to sip such a high proof bourbon can get the Knob Creek Quarter Oak and experience some more oak influence and different flavors for only $15 more than a regular Knob Creek. In today's market, special releases like this can be gimmicky at times, but I think Jim Beam did a really great job with this Quarter Oak. I think it's a great value for that extra flavor you're getting in this bottle. If you want to try something a little bit spicier, a little bit oakier, um, something that might appear like it has a little bit more age to it, 
Um, for 50 bucks, I think it's a great value. If you like something smoother, something sweeter, something that doesn't have that spice, something that kind of finishes a little bit on the easier side, then definitely stick with the uh, Knob Creek 100 proof standard release. All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed this review for the Knob Creek Quarter Oak Special Release from Jim Beam. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button below. Please hit that like button. Uh, if you haven't yet, find me on Instagram, find me on Twitter. Let me know if you've had this bottle, what you think of it, if you've compared it to other Knob Creeks, what you think the value of this is. I always love talking with you guys. And as I always say, it is not about the whiskey, it's the people you share it with. So cheers, and I'll see you next time on The Mash and Drum. Take care.